Dear friends, in this problem is asking us to find out what is the current across the each resistor. By using Kirchhoff's law, if you solve, it will take more than two minutes, I can say. But I have got a simple method to solve this problem. Let me enjoy that method here. Now, see this edge is having 10 volts and uh, let us say here, these all edges can be considered as zero volts, zero volts and zero volts. Now, so from here to here, it is 10 volts at this place. Here also 10 volts you can take. Here also this point has 10 volts. And here also you can take it as 10 volts. So these are all zero nodes and these are all having 10 volts, let us imagine. Now, let us take from here to here. So 10, you are coming from this side. So from negative to positive means you have to add. Lower to higher means you have to add. That means 10 plus 30 is nothing but 40 volts here. Okay. So here this is negative and this is positive and this is negative. So you are coming from positive to negative. From top to bottom, if you, you are coming from positive to negative means it is subtraction. This is negative you have to do. So 10 minus 40, you will be getting 30 here, okay? 30, understood? And that is going to be minus 30. So 10 minus 40 is going to be minus 30 volts at this point here. So here what is going to happen? Here also 10 minus 50 is nothing but minus 40 volts is there. That's it. Now very next thing what you have to do is you have to find out here the current. How you have to find out the current in this wire, I mean resistances here. So in this resistance you want to find out the current here. Let the current is given as I3 here. So current is flowing in this direction, therefore 40 minus 0 by 1 ohm, that means V difference delta V by R, okay. So delta V by R 40 minus 0 by 1 is nothing but 40 amperes. Now you have to find out the current I2 here, okay. So I2 is flowing in this direction, so from here you have to start 0 volts minus, this is minus 30 given here. So there is 0 minus of minus 30 divided by 2, therefore it's going to be 50 amperes, therefore I3 is nothing but here. If you consider I3 here, it is starting from here, so 0 minus of V, potential difference by resistance, that is nothing but 0 minus of minus 40 divided by R, that is 2, which is nothing but 20, I mean 20 amperes, that's it, okay. So like this in a simple way, we can find out the currents in the various resistances.